Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the filter activity in Azure Data Factory. It is a very much important. So by the name itself you can understand whenever you have to apply a filter on array, you can use a filter activity. So you can use a filter activity in a pipeline to apply a filter expression to an input array. For taking example, suppose I have one of the storage account. In this storage account I have a multiple files like file 1, file 2, file 3, file 4, file 5 like that the multiple files are available now what is your requirement from this storage account you have to filter a particular files so what actually you have to do you have to filter that particular file like the multiple files are available but you have to filter particular specific file based on the expression so for that what we can use we can use a filter activity and then after that if you have to perform a copy data or any other data activity that you can perform the main agenda of the filter activity is like suppose you have a multiple values available in an array and you have to filter a data from this particular array you can use a filter activity so what we are going to do we have one of the requirement in this requirement we are taking a same example in a storage account i have a multiple files now i want to filter only the file one files with the help of the filter activity and that file i, I want to perform a copy activity so if you have to read all what are the files which is available in a storage account for that what we can use we can use a get metadata and we can get the all the file name right so that actually we can do so after that what we will use with the help of the filter activity we can write a expression and we will try to filter a file one data and after that we will perform a copy data so that is the practical we are going to do so let me open let me create a new pipeline in this new pipeline, I will go to the general section. First, I will use a get metadata. First, I will show you my uh, container also. So, in a storage account, I have a two container, input container. In input container, I have a multiple file department, CSV, employee, CSV, employee 1, 1, CSV, employee 2, CSV. I want to filter only the department or CSV file. So, what I will do? First, I want to read what are the files which is available here, right? So, what I will do? I have created one new pipeline and I have selected the get metadata from the general section in a general section you can see get meta right after that you have to go into the setting you have to create a data set so let me create a data set where my file is available in a blob storage as a csv format so I will select that and uh, link service we have to create so I will select the subscription I will select the storage account and I will click on the create so that particular link service will get created I have to pass the file pass so my file is available in an input container and I will click on the ok now as of now what we are saying so with the help of the get metadata we are trying to read what are the files are available so click on the field list in the field list you can see you have a multiple so if you click on the child items you you will be able to read what are the files are available into this particular uh, in particular storage account so what i have done i have created data set i have selected the field list and selected the child item now if you try to debug let's see whether we are able to read the all the files or not so if i will show you you can see it is succeed so here from the output we have to remember one thing that actually we will use in a filter activity under this child item you can see we are getting two value one is name and the type so this name is representing the what is the file name so that we have to remember because this item dot name actually we will use in a filter activity so now what we will see so we are getting a multiple values here uh, that is fine now we want to filter only the department or csv from here so what you have to do go into the iteration click on the filter just try to select the filter here now you can see in a general option you have to just mention your the name and the description if you want go to the setting here you are getting two options one is the item second is the condition so item is like which particular value from where you want to uh, filter so we want to filter from the get meta data one right so i'll click on that dynamic content so I will use a get meta data one child item so this is this is nothing but a, this is the output from the get meta data one like uh, we are getting a multiple values right so that will represent this like multiple file name values now after that we have to write a condition what value you want to filter so I will click on that dynamic so 
I will select filter. So while debugging the get metadata one, we were getting two value under the child atom name and the type, right? So if I select the name that is representing my file name. So from here, what actually I want to filter? I want to filter a department or CSV. So what I will write department dot CSV. And uh, here we have a multiple function available. If you click on the con uh, collection, so you can see we have one of the function name as a contains. So what we are going to use, we are going to use a contains here. So what actually we are using, we are using a contains. So item dot name that is nothing but any file name which is containing department CSV means our value will be filtered out. That value only we want to filter. So I'll click on the OK. Now if I will try to debug, I should get only one value in a filter condition that is a department or CSV. So let's see. You can see it is succeeds. So in a get metadata one, we were getting a multiple files. Now if I will click on the filter one, you can see we are getting only the department one dot CSV. So that only got filter out. Now after that we can use a copy data activity as usual to only copy that particular data. So you can use a copy data and you can pass the particular value into this copy data also. So like that actually if you have to filter any value from the array, we can use a filter activity. I hope you got the idea.